So this survey here, um, this is like your classic, some things you might, something you might see in, in an Excel spreadsheet. Um, and it has columns for, columns for uh, demographics. So what age was the respondent, what gender, what position uh, in the organization, what was their satisfaction score? So it's a one to seven Likert scale um, and so forth. Uh, there's got a free text co column. You know, why did they gi give that satisfaction score? And we can see the concepts have been pulled from there. Um, so it's, if you like, it's mixed methods. It's a combination of uh, content analysis of the unstructured data and um, quantitative variables um, that have been also provided by the survey. Um, and so in this analysis, when we look at it, um, so this isn't a, this is a whole lot less data, of course, this is just about 109 survey responses. But I can see that again, we've got the thematic model. Um, we've got, well, it's a survey about IT at a university actually. So you know, the um, aspects of the use of computers are important. Um, equipment and training about equipment, helpfulness of service staff. Um, this is an information system, university information system and a help desk. And here are web basic pages of information. Um, and you can see there are a couple of things on this map that you haven't seen before. So I've put, I've aggregated satisfaction scores, the high satisfaction score six and seven, low one and two, and the medium of three, four or five, I've aggregated those and placed them on the map in this case. So I can, I can see uh, by proximity that the people who are not very satisfied um, are they're talking about navigating information pages. They're also talking about um, students having problems um, from home. Now, I mean, the, the point here is these, these give me suggested narratives. I can follow the pathways here I can see that maybe there's a there's some problem with students having um, access from home to computers, but I shouldn't guess. What I should do is I should go and look and see students um, and home. Okay. So yeah, not everyone has a computer at home. Uh, don't have internet access from home. So this is this is a survey from years ago when when having you know computer access from home was a was a difficult thing for students. So, um, and you can see that's near the low satisfaction score. So again, you can do that sort of analysis. Um, now I could, if I wanted to, um, instead of putting uh, the satisfaction scores, I could put other things on the map. Um, I didn't actually show you here that, um, well, already down here, there are, there are the, the other variables are here. So. I can look at the gender balance. I can pick female and what, what concepts are front of mind for that demographic as opposed to male, um, which we can do this way. So a different, a different ranking of concepts for the different gender groups in this data. And, and of course you can drill down and, and see where the males are talking about teaching and what do they have to say about that. And you know, if I click on this, I can see that comment and I can see the demographic variables associated with it drawn from the spreadsheet. Um, so that's, that's what a, uh, a spreadsheet uh, data set looks like once you've loaded into Lexamancer. You do have to, when you load a, CS, uh, a spreadsheet, don't try loading an Excel file, export it from Excel as CSV format, that's comma separated values, and then you load that into Lexamancer. So uh, CSVs are, are the format you would load when you've got that sort of tabular data. Um, 